Hey guys and welcome to yet another video fragrance jam and this time I'm here with uh, a top 10 office wear fragrances. I know uh, not a good time for doing this video because most of us are doing uh, work from home but I thought let's be ready for what is coming. So these fragrances are actually from my collection and as per me these are my personal favorite. I'm not saying that these are the best office wear fragrances in the entire world. So just in case if you are planning to buy office wear fragrances which are affordable, budget friendly and a crowd pleaser I'm pretty sure this list will help you. Now just before we start I just want to highlight that the sequence that I'm going with right Right now has nothing to do with the performance or the strength or the price of the perfume this sequence is not related to anything keep in mind so the first office for fragrance that i'll be covering today is uh, none other than the famous david of cool water now i'm pretty sure that even the people who are not much into fragrance game are aware what uh, what this fragrance is david of cool water is a symbol it's a uh, i'm out of words so um all i can say for this fragrance is this is a crowd pleaser and this is this is an office where fragrance i i remember i got this fragrance from shopper stop like uh, two years ago almost two years ago and uh, i wore this fragrance the next day in the office and i got like three to four compliments the next day itself on the first day of wearing this fragrance so this is how you know powerful this perfume is david of cool water the office wear fragrance of all time now the other fragrance that i like to go with is again from the house of david off and it is xeno now the best thing about this fragrance that i like is its barbershop feel it is inoffensive it is possible that the david of cool water might offend someone but i'm pretty sure that this fragrance will never offend anyone not a single soul will be offended by it and uh, the reason why this fragrance is you know so inoffensive is because it is mild and uh, you can say that uh, this perfume was was created for the people who are wearing suits this perfume was created for the people who are going to the office this is a bossy fragrance and uh, pretty much mature one um, i'm pretty sure again that people who are young let's say below 25 might not like it i remember i sniffed it like uh, four to five years ago and i didn't like it and uh, somehow i created uh, an interest for this perfume after i was in my office so i don't know what happened but yes uh, true story the next one i would like to go with is one of my favorite and uh, i'll tell you the reason why this is my favorite azaro poro now i have a lot of memories with this perfume I call this perfume as the interview scent because uh, I, I wore this perfume in two of my interviews where I went and I got selected in both of them. <laughs> so maybe it is just in my mind but uh, you know that is the reason I have a lot of, lot of uh, good memories with this perfume. This is actually the foundation of the barbershop fragrance, you know the Fuji Lavender type fragrances. I am pretty sure that Almost all the fragrances that are, you know, having that DNA are inspired by this fragrance. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is actually a very old fragrance. I don't specifically remember the year, but uh, this actually came before me. So, you know, for me, it is an ancient fragrance, to be very frank. Again, completely different from the two perfumes that we discussed right now. And uh, if you are into fragrance game, I would, I would really really like you to try this out because of its uniqueness and because of its uh, old man vibes because of its old school vibes so just try this out uh, the best office wear fragrance as for me and the best interview scent azaro puro now if we are talking about barbershop fragrance uh, this fragrance has to be there and uh, once again i'm not uh, making the video of barbershop stuff so i'm making the video of uh, office wear fragrances so this is what i think is the best replacement just in case if you don't have azaro poro aramis tuscany 
so uh, why this is the best replacement of azaro porum because first of all it shares the same dna second thing it is barbershop fragrance third thing is that it is again an office wear fragrance and uh, i'll tell you what uh, this actually will remind you of a barbershop i mean not the typical barbershop that you see nowadays you know that is that is shit the barbershops that were in let's say 80s or 90s where you know you could smell the aftershave lotions and you could smell the uh, you know the creams the, the talcum powders and stuffs everywhere whenever you enter the the shop so this is what it feels like i mean uh, this perfume is actually a timeless masterpiece uh i'll say that this is more into barbershop thing than the azaro porum itself but it is still inspired from that fragrance now they share the same dna so i would say that just in case if you are having azaro porum you don't need to buy this but still there is a slight difference that you'll notice if you are wearing both of the perfume side by side uh very good very mature and very bossy scent aramis tuscany porum now the next one that i'm going to highlight here is by the house of versace and uh, the fragrance is called versace blue jeans Uh, I had to show the presentation of this perfume because the presentation here rocks. They did a lot, and again, this is a timeless masterpiece. I mean, uh, they they took oops, uh, they took their fair share to you know know this perfume. They took their good amount of time to create the bottle of this perfume. Uh, it looks like something that you drink, like you know, Coca Cola or some such thing. Uh, that is the reason it is like it is it is different from all the perfumes that you have and uh, this is an office wear fragrance because again there won't be a single soul which will be offended by this perfume this is that safe it is like uh, uh, the the safety reading of this perfume if you calculate will be you know above 100 because no one will be offended by this perfume um, again uh, kind of barbershop thing going on here but uh, in a good way uh, not like a zaro porum or tuscany porum uh, this is good this is different you know lavender fujier based fragrance but very clean very clean you know very very clean and uh, sharp if you are wearing this in office you know just go ahead and do it so versace blue jeans best office wear fragrance now the next one here is again a timeless classic and uh, you'll see most of the classic stuffs here in the office wear because obviously you cannot wear red tobacco in the office regularly or else you'll be gone so here the next one will be drakkar noir now uh, this perfume again has its own fan base for the office wear and for the mature crowd people so again very old formulation very old fragrance uh, created before i was born that is the reason i find it very good this is a 200 ml bottle i was able to grab it i was able to get it so i got it different one i won't say that it is associated with any of the perfumes that i have or that i'm going to display right now so just in case if you want to try it just go ahead and do it again inoffensive uh, not loud it was loud previously when it came but uh, now reformulated and it is kind of safe so i won't say that it is loud but it is more wearable now drakkar noir now i have four fragrance left and uh, i'm i pretty much like all of them one to be specific is my favorite and i'll tell you which uh, the next one that we are talking here is again a very old fragrance and uh, it is by the house of bogart bogart porom now the different thing about this perfume first of all is the bottle i mean the bottle is good the bottle is pretty much unique and i hate this bottle and <laughs> And the reason why I hate this bottle is because you know it it the juice gets stick all over here if you are using this fragrance anytime. It is good. I'm not saying it is bad. I mean the sprayer is also okay. 
uh, but the fragrance is awesome i mean again a compliment getter i get a lot of compliments when i wear this fragrance and uh, this is good and safe for the office it leaves a very good scent trail whenever you are walking from somewhere and people will notice you if you are wearing this fragrance very manly it is sweet but again it is manly uh, it is different and it will set you apart in the office if you are wearing this fragrance the best thing about this fragrance is that it is budget friendly you will get this fragrance in around 2000 rupees yes around 2000 rupees if the discounts are good if you are buying this fragrance from malls or something then you might get this for you know a higher rate but uh, again it is worth investing if you are planning to get just one perfume for your office wear bogart pour home is good in terms of price and in terms of uh, scent this is good now the next perfume that i'll be talking about here is something that you didn't expect i'm pretty sure but uh, i had to take it because again this is as per me the best office wear fragrances for the bosses rms tobacco reserve now this perfume is again not for all the people in the office this is a bossy fragrance so let's say if you are a leader if you are a manager if you are um, someone who is you know on the higher authority i'm pretty sure that this perfume will suit you uh, that doesn't mean that uh, the other people cannot wear it you can wear it but again for me as as per my thinking this is for the people who are mature this is for the people who are at a higher level and uh, i'm pretty sure that they'll rock it this perfume is the best i have a few people from my office and i'm pretty sure they'll rock this perfume whenever they wear it or whenever they get it so just in case if people from my office are watching this video i really wish you are watching it and uh, if you really think about wearing one perfume i will literally recommend you wearing this one this will literally set you apart this is a boss fragrance get it aramis tobacco reserve now the next one is again by the house of aramis and uh, it's pretty different in what it has to offer this is called special blend Now this actually is the costliest perfume in uh, in the entire Aramis line and uh, again uh, when I ordered this perfume I I got it as a blind buy as soon as I did the first spray the first thing that came in my mind was that this is a perfume which is made for suits if a guy is wearing suits if a guy is wearing formals this is what he should use in the office again people who are below 25 people who are below let's say at a certain age will not like it well they will think that uh, it is it is it is very much aged stuff but i like it and i really dig it um i am actually waiting for my office to start so that i can rock these perfumes on these perfumes are made for you know inside environment and um, and i'm pretty sure that uh, people who are using it already know about it so aramis special blend made for people who are you know always informals now the last perfume that i'll be talking here is actually my recent buy i again got it as per the reviews and uh, this is how the bottle looks not the bottle the presentation is like this it just comes in this thing i i don't know what it is called you know cloth bean bag whatever so it's fine and this is how the bottle looks like this is gray flannel by jeffrey bean now <laughs> i know that uh, the bottle is very minimalistic very minimalistic it is like cough syrup or let's say uh, you know a bottle of wine this is this is what the closest thing is so this is what it is but uh, the perfume is top notch uh, i'd like to tell you that uh, this perfume is actually edt and it comes as a splash bottle it is not a spray thing so i ordered it i was not aware about it so i got this oh very strong very manly and this is made for office wear I will not recommend you to wear this in parties. I will not recommend you to wear this at 
you know uh, at, at, at a gathering or whenever you are inside the house it is okay but uh, in the office this is made for the office because it it gives that vibes that working vibes i mean uh, i cannot describe what my feeling is right now for this fragrance but uh, this is actually my favorite fragrance for office wear and i'm pretty sure that i'll be wearing this fragrance the first day i'm going at the office after this thing ends uh, again heads up uh, if you are planning to buy this bottle just make sure that you buy edt with vaporizer written on it you'll see here which one you should buy just in case if you are okay for decanting this in small bottles and using it uh, go ahead and get this one because again this is a 240 ml flacoon and uh, it will be affordable as compared to the 100 ml or 120 ml that you get so I'll, I'll show you the difference between this and the one that comes with the spray this is the one and uh, this is the splash bottle and this is the one that will come with the spray read the difference this is the perfume that i will drink someday that is that is how much i love this perfume not literally but yeah so this is it for top 10 office wear fragrances the gray flannel you can take it as my favorite one that is the reason it was on the first however the other perfumes were non-sequential and uh, they had nothing to do with uh, any kind of ranking in this video so you can get whatever you want you can get whatever you like and uh, i will make separate video of these perfumes just in case if you want me to if you like this video please subscribe like this video and uh, do leave a comment or feedback please leave a positive comment or feedback not this thing Thank you and take care. Have a great day.